Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Living the Florida East Coast. Today is going to be a special episode where I'm going to start off a new venture here where we're going to be touring model homes all up and down the Florida East Coast, and I hope to have one at least once a week. So that's going to make it two videos a week. Today, what we're going to be talking about is High Point by GHO. So if you know me, you know that I'm a big fan of the GHO builds. They're very coastal elevations, very Florida. They have a lot of standard features that are included with GHOs as base price versus what you have to pay extra from other builders. So we're going to dive into all of that later, along with a tour of the model homes. We are first going to talk, uh, talk about three different things. First, we're going to talk about the community features and then the standard features of GHO. And then thirdly, we're going to talk about the model home and the specs that that particular model home that we're about to tour has. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time, jump right into it. So first of all, high point with GHO, you are less than 15 minutes away from the beach whenever you are there. You are also in between Vero Beach and Sebastian. So yes, you do have a Vero Beach address whenever you are living in high point, but you are you have the convenience of being able to easily travel to Sebastian or Viewer Beach because you are so far north. Also, the monthly HOA fee is $346.33, and that includes the lawn care, internet, common area, gate, community pool, fitness center, and gathering room. And if you are a fan of you know higher safety, I think you're going to be a fan of the entrance of High Point with it having cameras, uh, all sorts of different safety features that it has at the beginning without actually having a live guard at the, uh, at the window. Now also with um, High Point, we're going to have 50 to 60 foot lots, so 50 to 60 foot wide lots. Additionally to that, you are going to have a minimum of 20 feet between each house. So that is an absolute minimum. I could tell you a lot of builders where you could barely fit a lawnmower. Uh, you pretty much have to weed eat in between the two houses because they pack them so tightly together. With this place and, and uh, High Point, you're going to have a minimum of 20 feet with it only going up from there whenever you go to the corner uh, corner lots and then the curved roads. Also, one of my favorite features about this community is that it is a natural gas community. So with being a natural gas community, that comes with a tankless water heater and of course your gas range. And if you know, and if you've been shopping within Indian River County for a long time, you probably realize that natural gas communities are hard to come by from here. They are very scattered, very hard to come by. And the fact that High Point uh, GHO has that is pretty impressive. So now let's go ahead and move on to section two, which is the standard features with GHO, with a lot of times you won't get it with other builders. So first of all, it's a wired smart home with a Nest thermostat. So you'll be able to control your thermostat from your phone as long as you have Wi-Fi connected to it. Also, if you are gonna be living here seasonally, you need to adjust the temperature. You forgot to you know, maybe change it before you left out. I think you can go on your app and be able to change it there. Number two is gonna be the smart deadbolt entry door. So you also have that along with it going with that smart home feature type of thing. Um, and then also now let's go ahead and talk about the hurricane protections that you have. So this is built with double row steel and concrete beam construction. And when I say that GHO really builds a fortress or a compound for these hurricanes, I really mean it. Going along with that uh, same you know kind of feature there is also impact windows and doors are standard with GHO. So impact windows and doors coming standard with GHO, that is a huge plus for both insurance and also if you plan on living here seasonally, the best part about that is when, you know, when you're here, you're during the winter. So it's not going to be hurricane season. When you're leaving or when you're gone, that is whenever hurricanes ideally will be brewing up in the Atlantic and making its way over to the coast of Florida. So with that being said, you don't have to have a neighbor go by to put up your shutters. You don't have to hire a project or a property manager to go over and put up shutters for you. You just have that peace of mind to be able to go home, lock up the doors and know that your house is safe from hurricanes if one of those uh, uh, comes around. Another thing too is roof trusses with hurricane straps is also standard with GHO. So I believe that is code here in the state of Florida, but I just wanted to point that one out too. Now moving on to the interior features, uh, 42 inch upper cabinets come standard. Also granite or quartz countertops in the kitchen and the bathroom. So a lot of builders will just do granite or quartz within the kitchen and then maybe get you stuck with formica within the bathrooms. Um, that's a pretty common thing that we see a lot here 
But, um, you know, with GHO, that is not something you have to worry about. It's gonna carry out throughout the entire house. Also, we've already spoken about, a little bit about the gas range, but I did wanna say you have a full appliance package that comes along with it too. So that is refrigerator, gas range, microwave, and dishwasher. Those are all things that sometimes other builders will skimp out or have you pay extra for. Sometimes they're paying or they're blaming uh, supply chain shortages on the fact that you can't get these appliances. But um, you know, I think we're past that. I'm sick of hearing that. I hate that excuse. GHO, you don't have to worry about it. You're getting your fridge, gas range, microwave, dishwasher. Also eight foot interior doors really, really makes the house stand out whenever you have all eight foot interior doors has a nice look, uh, especially with the high ceilings that you get with GHO. One of my favorite features as well with GHO, um, something that if you haven't lived in Florida or in a place where it's really humid, really hot, you probably won't understand the benefit of this or how significant it really is, but they also have spray-in attic insulation, which comes standard with, with that in uh, with all their homes. So that keeps down your electric, uh, electric bill. If you have things stored in the attic, like Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, you know, whatever holidays it may be, just extra storage. You don't have to worry about it getting too hot. I mean, it can make a difference of up to 10, 20, 30 degrees at times when you have that spray-in attic insulation, which really helps your energy bills when it comes to cooling your house in those hot summer months. Um, another thing too about GHO is they're very, very flexible, both with their payment and also with what you get with their house too. So their famous saying, whenever you go into uh, one of the model homes is that we can't move mountains, but walls we can do. So I love that saying about GHO and, and the fact that they can, you know, that they'll work with you. They'll, you know, make sure if you wanted this, this wall moved there, whatever it may be, I think that they can accommodate that. Alrighty, so now it's time to move on to the third section of this video where we talk about the Aurora model, which is gonna be the model home we're gonna be stepping inside shortly. So with the Aurora model, you have a three bedroom, with a den or office, so three bedroom plus a den or office, three full bathrooms, a two car garage, and 2,515 square feet of living space. Now with that, you also have 3,300 uh, square feet of total living space as well. So 2,515 living, and then 3,300 total. With all that said, let's go ahead and, and uh, jump into the model home so you can see exactly what this beautiful piece of real estate looks like.
Alrighty, so I hope that video at least helped one person out there who wanted to see what it's like getting inside those GHO high point neighborhoods. So the Aurora model was a beautiful house. I'm glad you guys could come along with me. We're gonna keep this trend going every single week. I hope to have a new model home uh, that I put out every single Sunday. So that's just gonna be a new segment. Um, if you haven't heard me before, just wanted to kind of put that out there. I know we jumped straight to the chase. My name is Andrew Pinch. I'm a local realtor here on the East Coast of Florida. And if you're looking for a channel that goes over everything about what it's like to live, play, eat, sleep, and buy real estate anywhere in the Florida East Coast, make sure to like this video, tap that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. I'll also be able to represent you with any new construction or resale purchase. So give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email because I promise that I'll have your back when making that move here to the Florida East Coast. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.